All day long we've been talking about uncluttering your life, but cleaning out your closets and going through your basement doesn't necessarily mean you have to throw out things that you really treasure. That's right. Our consumer investigator Hank Winchester joins us and there really is still a way that you can breathe new life into old things. You don't have to just throw it away. You don't. I'm going to give you an example. Mm -hmm. Okay. This old this. ice cream tub. Ooh, Devin wow. likes this. Devin really wants it. It's a, it belongs to the family of our producer Kelly. Mm -hmm. Her mom used it for years as a planter. Kelly now uses it in her apartment oh, for, for umbrellas. Uh -huh. So what it is, it's all about taking, as you said, something old and breathing new life into it. Take a look. Use their old canning jars. Old jars, crates, antiques. Are you thinking about repurposing? We live in a throwaway economy, so sometimes being able to reuse something versus throwing it away uh, makes someone feel good. Having quite a few uh, heirlooms and things like that lying around the house that might not be your style, but if you repurpose them, then uh, it makes something old new again. Organizing specialist Karen Eschebach is a pro at doing just that. She says the key to being a good repurposer is looking at everything in a useful way. Find the things that you love that, you know, really, you know, evoke some sort of emotion. That old chip teapot or pottery, turn it into a flower pot or break up the pieces and make stepping stones in your garden. Antique silverware can be bent into hooks for your mudroom. Karen has endless ideas. This in particular is um, actually a combination of a pin, um, like a brooch, and uh, an earring. Old pie tins, you know, they get kind of grimy looking. You don't want to use them anymore, but they look kind of cool when you have your earrings and pins and things in there displayed. Taking maybe an old pillowcase and you can make them into uh, eco bags. And mason jars, good for holding odds and ends. And if you're struggling, you can't think of ideas, there's always craft sites like Pinterest or posting on social media, asking for tips from others on how to repurpose an item. We met Karen at this shop in Roseville, Mimi LaRue. It's the perfect setting because just above us, an old ladder repurposed into a chandelier. The owner, Sarah, specializes in restoring furniture. I teach people how to bring old furniture back to life. The trend in home decor in that is what's old is new again. Um, you can take, you know, grandma's secretary, um, a beautiful end table that used to be your mother's, and you, if it has great bones, it has great lines, it just needs a refresh. Sarah says you don't need to do too much. Even just giving it a fresh coat of paint will do. Um, so I like to switch things up and just put in pretty papers to, um, in some of the pieces that I can, switch out maybe a knob or two to make it more um, interesting and more modern. That means grandma's end table doesn't have to end up in the trash, but we couldn't leave without a tip from Sarah, who does classes at her shop. A lot of it has to do with um, how you prep the piece. Uh, because it is painted furniture, um, you want it to adhere, and the secret is really doing that prep process the correct way. So whether you're repurposing something or fully restoring it, it's all about loving that piece in a brand new way. I like that. I love that ladder with the lights. That was cool. We like cool, that. Right? Yeah. 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 Things. All right. Oh. So tonight at 11 o'clock, we're talking electronic and digital clutter. This is oh. big, big, right? For a lot of people. How many photos. pictures do I have on my phone? I don't need all these pictures. And they're all of yourself. Right. <laughs> so much. Oh, she knows him too well. So wow. tonight at 11. Selfie. 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 Did I even argue? <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with you? Tonight at 11, you will vote on my best selfies. Uh, no, we're, we're going to take you through it. Your laptop, your cell phone, what you can do to make sure that you can save those images. Does the cloud really work? All that good stuff tonight at 11 o'clock.